Now I am going to be using a lot of Z plugins in this course. Uh, if we go ahead and, you know, this divider over here, you can un open it up. We're going to grab the Z plugin menu, grab the little white dot and drag it over here. And by default, a lot of really cool stuff comes in with ZBrush, but there's some other cool stuff that we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and talk about how to install a ZBrush plugin. First, go to the internet and Google ZBrush plugins, and that's going to take you to the Pixel Pixelogic Download Center. You can go straight to the Pixelogic ZBrush plugins if you want. If you go to the Download Center, all you need to do is, and you can go through here, there's uh, plugins, matte caps, alphas, textures, all that good stuff. Under ZBrush plugins, you're going to see all the listed plugins below are included with your default installation of ZBrush. So all of these things are included with ZBrush. If you keep scrolling down, you're going to see Ringmaster, Nanotile Textures, ZNC, CNC, Startup Master, Clean Tool Master, Panel Loop Presets, all these really cool things that you can download and install. We'll be going over individual functionality as needed. But for example, one tool I use all the time is Clean Tool Master. I'm going to go ahead and download that. I'm going to go Show in Folder. And go ahead and right click this, Clean Tool Master. I'm going to 7-zip extract this to Clean Tool Master folder. If I open up that folder, you're going to see I have a README that tells you how to install it. I'm going to walk you through that and then an install folder. Double click that. You're going to see a data folder and a ZSC, a Z script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ZBrush, C Program Files, Pixelogic ZBrush 2018, Z Startup, Z Plug 64, and you're going to see we have data folders in here and we have Z scripts in here. So just copy both of these, just right click and say copy here or move here. And then once you're done, once you start up ZBrush, you'll grab your Z plugin folder and it'll show up over here. For example, Clean Tool Master, here it is. And I even have a few of these buttons torn off and put up here. So I have a faster access to them. We'll get to that when we get into our custom interface. But that's how easy it is to install Z plugins. And I would say go ahead and download and install all of them. It doesn't really affect the startup time. And a lot of them are super useful.